Okay, this is a reading about Kiara Hall. Apparently she went missing five years ago. It's, yes, it says five years ago she went missing here. Here's a news brief about her. Just on Kiara Hall. It's both mystery and a tragedy. I don't want to feel the worst. A young girl in her 20s has everything to live for. She go right there. Video footage shows that she was walking toward and past her car. I kept looking at the video all that night. This may hold a clue to what happened to her. Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018 was an unusually warm fall day in Chicago with a high of 88 degrees. In the Chatham neighborhood on the south side, Karen Phillips was feeling good her daughter Kiera was doing so well. Any sense of that something was wrong? No. She was the star. She was the bright spot in this family. Regina Waldrop, a veteran reporter for NBC5, was about to cover a story that would stay with her for years to come and bring back terrible memories of her own. I was 11 years old and uh, I just remember how frantic my parents were. Waldrop, now the mother of a young daughter herself, would soon develop a bond with Karen Phillips. I connected with her immediately. She looked at my, in my eyes and she said, Regina, I haven't been sleeping. I don't want to eat. I don't want to close my eyes. I just want my daughter to come home. Her daughter, Kiara Coles, was the fourth of Karen Phillips' five kids, each name beginning with the letter K. Kim, Keisha, Kendrick, and Kiana. But Kiara always seemed to run the show. In charge of the yeah, other in kids charge. in your family? Yeah. <laughs> with her trying to always be in charge of everybody else's situation. Karen describes her daughter as extremely driven working two jobs, driving for Lyft and sorting mail for the post office part-time, trying hard to become a full-time postal employee. She worked like three years temporarily at the post office. She cares, I'm gonna go back every year today, hire me. At age 26, Kira had a checklist of things she wanted to accomplish. I'm gonna save up, I'm gonna give me an apartment, she did that. I'm gonna give me a reliable car, she did that. She was in love with a man she'd been dating for six years. Did you think he was good for her? Yeah. He had manners, you know, just speaking and never raised his voice in my house. And Karen says they were now 12 weeks pregnant with a baby Kiara couldn't wait to raise. We was all excited for her to have a child. She was just so happy. She showed off her ultrasound picture. No word on whether it was a boy or girl. You were close? Yes. Talked every day? Every day. But on Wednesday, October 3rd, her phone didn't ring. And Karen's calls went unanswered starting at 8 a.m. I knew it was something wrong when her phone kept going to voicemail. She's an adult in her 20s. Is it possible she just went off on her own? No. We was too close for her to just run off. She says Kira seemed happy and excited about the baby when they last spoke the night before, Tuesday around 7 p.m. She was just saying that she wasn't going to work too hard because she don't want to endanger the baby, you know, like have a miscarriage. Kira had also been careful because she suffered from asthma, which she kept in check with an inhaler. Kira was off work that day and said she planned to buy groceries. What if she collapsed carrying the bags inside? Could you see in the window? No, you couldn't see in the window. Karen rushed to Kira's place and banged on the door. Could you hear anything inside? Only the TV. The TV was on, but nobody answered. Now very worried, she called Kira's boyfriend to bring a key. She said he told her he didn't have one and had not seen Kira all day, but would come over right away. She also called 911. When police arrived, they took the hinges off the door and went inside. It was just empty. Any sign of a struggle? No. Anything out of place? No. Just a TV left on, the groceries she purchased put away. Their attention turned outside where her car was usually parked. It wasn't there, but it was nearby. Her car was down the street. Down the street, even almost. Even though there were open spots yeah. in front of the apartment. Yeah. I found that kind of strange right in the beginning, but, you know, so much was going on. Why would she park down the street, especially when she had groceries to carry inside? They called the locksmith to open the car. What do you see inside? The purse and the cell phone. But the purse she was using for a lunch bag because it had uh, prenatal vitamins, an apple, an orange, and a water. Untouched as though she were heading to work. But Karen found out later Kira had called out sick and wasn't going to be working that day. Mom held her breath as they checked the trunk. Anything inside? It was her work stuff, like a work jacket, the little pushing thing that they pushed the mail around in. Again, nothing out of place. A life stopped in midstream. 
The news soon broke that a pregnant postal worker had disappeared without a trace. Help bring my baby home. A parent's desperate plea. Thank you for stopping. We went to the area and there she was handing out flyers and I approached her and said, my name is Regina Waldrop. Um, I want to tell the story about your daughter. Waldrop did not tell Karen Phillips her older sister had gone missing back in 1983. Knowing the details would be too upsetting. I was transported back to years ago. My sister had been drugged in a club and she had been raped and she was gone missing for two weeks. Waldrop knew from her own experience that time is critical in every missing person's case. She was surprised to see Kira's car still on the street. It's down the street from her apartment. I'm with another reporter and we look right in the car. We can see her purse sitting there open and, and we're so surprised because why is the car still sitting here? Hadn't been towed anything. We're wondering had it been fingerprinted? Does it have clues to where she might be? Her apartment building right here. Right. Victims advocate Andrew Holmes went door to door oh, looking for clues. He quickly noticed surveillance cameras nearby. Video surveillance came from the building here, which is exactly uh, two buildings down. Waldrop was knocking on doors too when she heard a woman's voice. A woman calls down and says, hey, my husband, he has video. I go upstairs, he's walking us through this video. He's saying, there she is there, she's walking down the street. You see her, she's in her pulse uniform. That's her, that's her. How big is that moment? I, it's earth shattering because I think this is video of her walking towards her car. This may hold a clue to what happened to her. Why would she walk past her own car? You know, that remains to be answered. Uh, she may have seen someone she knew. Was she leaving with someone to start another life no one knew about or being lured to a place of no return? I'm thinking that she's walking to somebody's car, so all the video that they took off the block that we'll be able to see exactly what car she got into and, you know, possibly have a license plate. Why would she be wearing her uniform if she's off work? I was thinking maybe she decided to go back, maybe she decided to go in or she just put the uniform on. Chicago police declined to talk about any aspect of the case. They have not named any suspects or persons of interest. So we Alrighty. So I don't know a, a lot about this case, so trust me, this would be an unbiased video. So let's see what's going on with the QR code. Cleanse these stacks, purify these stacks, cleanse these stacks with negativity, lines, only report the truth about QR code. I'm only gonna use two decks for this. Because these are the only two decks that called out to me. Okay, let's see what's going on with Kira Poe here. Okay, this card fell. This fell came out. What's the interesting card to get about Kira Poe? Mm -hmm. like these, this card wants to come out here. The ace. And this. Okay. And this. Okay, that's all I'm getting. Alright. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. You can see here the Page of Pentacles. And as you know, the Page of Pentacles is basically saying. Well, apparently, you know, she was looking for a new job, so I don't know if she was looking for or trying or waiting for a job or something, whatever the case may be, but it looks like she was definitely being considered for it. She was definitely being considered for this new job here, like she was working toward a new job or something, so that's a good thing. So, like, that was definitely in her future, like, that was definitely going to come into present. And then we have the Three of Cups here. You see that three of cups, and the three of cups is telling me some friendships, some celebration. She's celebrating for something, so hmm, interesting. So we have celebration and friends that was happening around her death. I don't know why that's coming in these cards here. Ace of Wands here, which which confirms a new job. Like she was getting this new job, she was getting a new some inspiration or something like that. So. I don't know if she was working toward a job or something, but whatever it is, it looked like it was definitely being considered. And then, um, then we have the four of wands here. As you can see, girls are partying, they're having fun. Um, hmm. So there's definitely some celebrations, some family celebrations or something surrounding her death. And it's significant because it's being popped up in his deck, which means that they may have something to do with her death. 
So we have the high priestess. The high priestess here. And don't be alarmed by the high priestess card. It's not a, oh my, oh my gosh, the high priestess. It just means secrets. Someone has secrets. Someone has mysteries. So someone is lying. Someone in her circle, circle of friends is lying about what happened to her. Which means we have another fake issue here. So there was a celebration. She got, I'm seeing that she was preparing for a party. She went to a party or something. And I don't know if she's celebrating a promotion or she was celebrating something. But she was celebrating something. Some news or something. And she went to a party. So some friends of hers, I'm not sure who her friends are. They know what happened to her. Okay, let's see what this deck says. Okay, I just popped out here. So we got someone of high honor here. Okay. Oop. Okay, we have someone bad health. Okay. Just someone to shuffle. We got the journey card. Just the one to shuffle you there. Oop. Privileged lady. Okay, that's all I'm getting. Okay, so we have the high honor card, which means someone with some accolades, someone with some titles or something like that. This could be government, this could be a battle, this could be someone who is really fighting to keep this um, thing under wraps here. So I don't know if she has a friend that has a really high position or something like that that I'm getting here that has some really high accolades. We have some bad health here, so who's ever was in that circle is definitely going to start falling ill. And there was definitely some money involved. Like money. She had to get money or a lot of money was involved. She had to pay somebody. And there was definitely some messages of concern here. And there's some traveling. So someone travels shortly after her death. Whoever travels shortly after her death is definitely involved. This is carefully thought out here. And there is a privileged lady. There's someone who was entitled. Someone who felt like they needed to have this done. And they needed this. They felt entitled for whatever she had to give them. Like she owed them money or something and she needed to pay them for something. I'm getting a woman in a really high position or something. You know, and she was saying that she needed money for something. For whatever case may be. And, and I'm getting Kira trusted her or something because she seemed like a woman with some high stature. Like she had a high position or something. And she helped cover this up. But this was all for money. She was a con artist. This is about money. And they've done this several times. Who's ever also involved in this? They're going to fall ill here. And they travel. I'm getting they travel from place to place or state to state or something like that. And they con people out of money. So whoever did this was a con artist and they did it for money. It looked like they've been doing it for a very long time. It looked like a female is definitely the head person, and whoever the guy is, he's going to start falling ill and getting sick, and this is all about money. I don't know if she was trying to pay someone to do something, or she owed someone or someone promised her. I believe the cops need to look at her finances and figure out who she was paying, her text messages or something, because I'm getting it has something to do with money. It has something to do with money and someone who was scamming her for something. That's what I'm getting here. Someone who was trying to scam her, I'm getting... A woman, if they, they, it's like a con game. It's a man and a woman. They pulling some kind of con game, you know. And this person was pretending to be her friend, but they weren't her friend. They were just waiting for the opportune time to take her money and then kill her. And that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this is about money. I'm getting they might find her body soon. If they haven't found it, they're going to find her body soon. We're getting water. Yeah, I'm getting water. Beach. Something like that. But that's all I'm getting here. The vision is getting really blurry. But I hope anyway. this helps. Um, good luck. If you have any information about uh, Ms. Cole here, the information is below or on the screen there. Good luck on the search and thanks for staying throughout the duration of this break.